Hi guys, this is our first video for Maths N6, and this is also our first chapter in Maths N6, which falls under question one of your final examination. Uh, it's partial differentiation. So now, what's the difference between your your normal differentiation, which is your dy dx? and your partial differentiation let's check so remember your normal differentiation you have dy dx so your partial differentiation instead of using d you'll use this symbol which is called del but remember when you write there's no pronunciation but this is the only symbol to differentiate between your normal differentiation and your partial so it's very important all your questions you do them uh, correctly okay so this will fall under partial but as for uh, the method of how you do everything it's 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 the same there's no difference for example if I have to uh, determine let's say I have y equals to x squared and i have to determine partial differentiation of this of y to x so it will be same differentiation rules you know okay. so the, the the only difference is that uh, your partial function exists uh have a different variable so you can have a variable of x and a variable of y and another variable maybe three variables but usually in n6 they they do only two variables so now if they ask you to determine uh, partial uh, dz dx what they mean is your y is a constant so you only differentiate respect to z so what happens your x squared will become 2x and your y we know it will become zero because the derivative of a constant is um zero so same thing for y if they ask you to differentiate respect to y we know uh, the derivative of x squared will be zero of y squared will be 2y do you see so you have 2x and 2y so most questions will be like this now so so you will be asked to get the following solutions number one uh, it can be uh, dz dx number two can be uh, dz dy then you can be asked for the second derivative which will be second derivative of z x or second derivative of z to y then another two which are important and they are the same is when you derive as uh, two x and y so i'll show you how these two are the same uh, then you have yeah so if you notice the difference between these two functions here the first one i started with this dx the second one i started with dy so this what it means is that if i have a function of z then if i derive this function respect to x this is what I will get. If I derive this function again, respect to x again, now I'm deriving x for the second time. Do you see? That's number one. Number two, if I'm deriving the function of z respect to y, 
then I'm deriving it again. This is arrows, which means it's a, a different function. It's not equal sign. So from there to there, there's something I did. Then if I derive this again, um, I'm getting second derivative of y again. Do you see? But now let's say I derived z to x. Now I'm deriving z again. But now to y. Do you see? I did a first time was to x. Now it's y. There. Do you see? Same thing. If if the first derivative I did was y. Now for the second time, if I derive now to the different variable which is to x. Do you see now the second part is x. So guys, it doesn't matter whether you, it doesn't matter if it's x starting or y starting. What you should know is that if the first part you derive with respect to x, the second part should be y. If the x, the first part was to y, the second part should be x. Remember, uh, uh, dy dx. If they are multiplying, this is the same as x y. So it doesn't matter uh, which one you write first. But if they say proof, then you should do them correctly. I hope I hope that's clear. Okay, let's do one example. Then we go to few question paper uh, from uh, the questions from past papers. Okay, so so let's do that uh, function again. We said x squared plus y squared. And let's determine all the derivatives so we can get all the, all the partial derivatives we can get from this one. So the first one we can determine uh, the derivative of the function to x. We said this will be 2x. Your y squared is a constant so that makes it a zero. The second part we can uh, derive the function with respect to y. So your x squared will be 0, your y squared will be 2y. Now, the next one, we can uh, derive the function again. So I'm deriving this function now. Again, uh, respect to x again. So if it's respect to x again, at the bottom, I will have x squared. Then I'm, I have only 2. Now the last, uh, another one, I'm deriving the function of y again to y. I'm deriving this again to y. So now if I derive to y respect to y, I have 2. Do you see? Okay, now the tricky ones. These ones, uh, they are always a bit confusing to students, but I want to clear the confusion. So now if I'm going to derive... Uh, let's. I'm taking uh, the first one, your dz dx. Remember, it's already derived with respect to x, so which means now I must derive it with respect to y. So if I'm deriving it again, I'll have x y. Because I'm deriving it at uh, respect to y, and my function is 2x, which means that's zero because you don't have y there, which means your 2x is a constant. Now let's do the y function respect to x. So now I'm taking this one here. This one here. I'm doing it respect to x because firstly at the beginning was respect to y. So now must be respect to x. So 2y, if we check 2y is a constant, we need we have to derive respect to x. There's no x there, so this is zero. And that's why they say according to your theorem this will always be equals to this so sometimes this question can come as a proof question they can say prove that this is this so you have to do it step by step and just prove it okay i hope it's clear so now let's go to some past examination papers Okay, first question. I think this is 2016 exam paper. I think 20 uh, November. 
for two marks so question one it doesn't have uh, many marks so that's why uh, i don't I, I i wouldn't prefer if you guys would waste any time on this question but also i wouldn't prefer if you would lose any marks on this question because this is the easiest question of this paper so yeah so it's usually less than 10 marks and your question have partial differentiation and parametric equations so yeah few marks so this one question one had only two marks 1.1 there the other part was parametric which was about three marks okay let's get to our question the question is determine uh they want you to determine this This is what they want. Do you see? Which means we we should get the first derivative. If the first derivative is respect to y, the second derivative should be respect to x. If the first derivative was respect to x, the second derivative should be respect to y. So it doesn't matter which one you start with. But if you started with x, make sure you end with y. If you started with y, make sure you end with x. Okay, so let's get started. So we have our z there. So let's say our first derivative uh, is the respect to okay let's just say x but you, either way you should get the same answer so if you check here if we are deriving respect to x what does it mean for y it means y it's a constant so if i'm deriving x there i'll get negative 15 x squared y squared Remember now, y squared cannot be zero because it's multiplying x. It's like saying the derivative of uh, 4x squared is 8x if you derive this, right? So it's like the same thing. This is a constant, but we didn't say it's zero. It's only zero if it's alone on the side. If it's a constant only, if it's multiplying a variable, but you should know that by now. Okay, so y squared is a constant. We only derive x. So here, minus y exponent 4, minus y exponent 4, there. What happens to it? That's a constant, so it's 0. So we leave it, we go to 3x squared plus y. So 3x squared plus y, y is a constant, so we derive 3x squared, we get 6xy. So now, because the first derivative we determined respect to x, now the second derivative we must do to y okay let's see now if we derive respect to y x squared on the first term is a constant so we derive y so this 2 on your y squared will multiply 15 which will be negative 30 x squared y then here your x is constant so we only derive y if you derive y you get 1 so we are left with 6 x this is your answer then. So yeah, we can do uh we can we can we can do okay, but it's not necessary, but we can do uh we can do it vice versa, start with y then end with x. And you see we get the same answer. But it's it's not necessary because it's it's really wasting time. Okay, let's go. So if if rather we started with y here so in uh if you go to your uh, function of z your minus 5x cube y squared because we are deriving respect to y x cube it's still there so your y squared and 5 will give us 10 10x cube y do you see because we derived y then your y exponent 4 will give us 4y cube then your 3x squared to y, we'll, we will have 3x squared. Because if we derive y, we get only 1. Now, because the first part we derive with respect to y, the second part will be to x. So now if I derive to x, this y, it's a constant. So that 3 on your x cube and uh, 10 will be 30x squared y. Now, 4y cubed is 0 because we are deriving respect to x. Now, 3x squared will be 6x. 
So do you see these two functions are the same? So it doesn't matter which one you start with because the theorem says they are equal always. So you do it any way you prefer. Okay, let's move. Next question. We have three questions. So we are doing the second one, then the last one. Okay, this one, uh, given a uh, function of z, it's tan xy. Determine the second derivative of the function respect to x. So this one is straightforward. We have to determine the first function or the first uh, derivative respect to x. What do we know? The derivative of tan, we know it's x squared from your formula sheet. But this is chain rule. After deriving tan, after deriving tan, now we get inside your function. Don't forget. After deriving tan, now we must go to the second function, which is xy. Now, if you derive xy, what do you get? Remember, y is a constant, so you are left with... If you derive xy and y is a constant, it means I'm only going to derive x, which I'll be left with y. Do you see? So your answer is x squared x, y, y. Now, repeat this to x again. Again, we should start with our, uh, we should start with our main function. But this time the main function is not seg, it's squared. Remember chain rule, the main function is squared. This is your n5, uh, derivative chain rule so if i start with squared i'll be left with okay but to make it easier let me do this let's simplify here let's start with y because it's a constant so that we can see where we are going okay now that squared will multiply y so i'll have 2y sec because we derive squared, so now it's a sec exponent 1. You see, we are done with the squared. Now we're going to sec. We know the derivative of sec, it's sec tan. So we'll have sec xy tan xy. Guys, if you can't get this chain rule out, suggest you go to N5 uh, and revisit the chain rule. And also check the videos under N5 that I... I did if they are available already okay so the first thing we did we started with our squared we we got two I remember chain rule you do one function at a time so we got two y expo we are left with exponent one here then you don't change anything else then after that we go to the next function which is sec we derive sec we get sec tan then after deriving sec now we must go to the inside function which is xy we derive x we get y see then you can simplify your y and y will give us 2y squared your second sec will give us sec squared xy tan xy that's your answer then this one for sure it was three marks they don't usually have a lot of marks okay and guys during the videos if if there's any errors i made because yeah i'm not in class so I'm, when i'm when i'm working through the video i'm doing it alone so it's 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 very easy not to notice any mistake so yeah so you can leave a comment under your comment section or you can email me so i'll leave the details at the end for my email address okay let's move on the last question now, this question, given uh, z is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, did prove that x uh, times the partial differentiation of x to z, of z to x plus y dz dy equals to 2z. So we have to prove that this is equals to 2z. So the first thing we must get, we, we need this two first. If we derive z to x, our x squared will be 2x, our 2xy will be 2y, because we are deriving uh, 
respect to y at respect to x which means we derive x we get 2 then your y squared will be 0 because it's a constant on its own then now we must also determine y if i derive x squared to y it's 0 if i derive 2xy i have 2x because when you derive y you get 1 when i derive y squared i'm getting 2y so now let's substitute in our function they said x times z dx plus y times z dy so let's substitute this is 2x plus 2y this is y 2x plus 2y so now multiply your bracket we have 2x squared we have 2xy we have 2xy we have 2y squared so now i hope we can see if i we can see this 2 here will give us 4xy but i don't have to write that step so now i will have 2x squared plus 4 4xy plus 2y squared if i take out 2 as common i'll be left with x squared i'll be left with 2xy i'll be left with y squared and we know this whole thing here is the same as C from the beginning they gave us. So such questions are easy because you are working towards an answer you already know. So you know what you have to do. Okay guys, I'll see you uh, next time when we do a parametric equation. So yeah, don't forget to forward your questions to my email address. Or you can type the question under the comment section. Thank you. Goodbye.